G'day everyone and welcome to my art channel Brushes with Beck. In today's video I'm going to be drawing a flower. The flower that I'm drawing is an Australian native orchid, commonly known as a purple cockatoo orchid. For this drawing I am using Faber-Castell Polychromos coloured pencils and also Fabriano Studio hot pressed watercolour paper. Now I wanted to do a drawing on this paper. It is a smooth paper because if you if you subscribe to my channel, if you saw my video from about three weeks ago where I was talking about giving up on a drawing that I started on smooth paper, I wanted to make sure that nobody got the impression that smooth paper is terrible to use to draw on. Because it's not. Smooth paper is wonderful to draw on. You get a lovely smooth result, much easier. It is very easy to layer your colours and blend them together. But... Obviously in my last video I said I don't really enjoy drawing on smooth paper because it really puts a lot of strain on my hand and I find it quite hard to lay down strong colours, which is all true, but that doesn't mean that I don't like the results that the paper gives in certain circumstances. Like, obviously I find it much better to use for smaller pieces such as this flower. This is only an A5 piece, which is quite small, versus doing a piece that I that I tried to do, which was a full A3 piece of a flamingo, like full edge to edge background covering the whole piece of paper, and it just wouldn't have worked for me. Even doing this small flower, I found I had some pain in my hand just from using this smooth paper as opposed to a textured paper, which grips the pigment more easily. Even so, I really enjoy drawing this and I wanted to show you how good smooth paper can be if that's what you want to use for your art and if that's what you enjoy using for your art. Because I know a lot of people really don't like textured paper, they don't like fighting that grain and working to cover up the grain and that's completely fine. My, my dislike of smooth paper is not the results that you get, it is simply that I find it challenge, not challenging to work on, but it is difficult for me with the strain that it causes on my hand. Now, if you have been following my channel for a while, since about mid last year, you probably will have seen a video I did of a leaf in colored pencil on smooth paper. That was also this exact same paper, the Fabriano Studio Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper. I find it is, in terms of different papers for different subject matters, I do find that smooth paper really does give a lovely result for leaves and flowers and those sorts of things. Although, to be honest, I really haven't tried them much on textured papers, except for when I did the drawing of the chat on the eucalyptus branch with the leaves included in there on pastel map. But in terms of choosing a subject matter for a smooth paper, I find that leaves and flowers are a good choice for that. And I absolutely dislike drawing fur and <laughs> texture for animals on smooth paper. It's just, it's just very, very difficult. I, yeah, <laughs> that's just not my thing for smooth paper. So I wanted to share with you guys, like I said, after my video where I said I was giving up on a piece because it was on smooth paper, I didn't want to hate on smooth paper at all. It is a really wonderful surface to use. It is really just personal preference and all paper is really personal preference. So as I said in the beginning, I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils for this piece. I've gone with a very limited color selection and I've also chosen a flower that would enable me to use some of my least used colors in my set. Because I got the full 120 set of Polychromos pencils, I mostly draw wildlife, and pets, and, you know, assorted animals. So I don't get to use a lot of purples, a lot of pinks and that kind of thing. So this was a really nice use of some of those colours. I got to explore those colours a little bit more. I did select out quite a few more colours, about four more colours than what I actually ended up using in the end. So I didn't get to use as many as perhaps I would have liked, but I found that the ones that I started using first 
and I sort of got into a rhythm with and I liked how they were working together so I didn't feel the need to bring in any of the other colors that I had picked out. So the color range for this flower is actually quite limited. I think all up I used about 13 different colors in this piece including the stem of the flower and the flower petals itself. So it's quite a limited color range, but it came out really, really beautifully. Unfortunately on my camera, I think my camera brightness is just a little bit too high. So it doesn't quite show the contrast very well. And my shadows are a little bit washed out in this piece, but you'll see at the end, once you see a picture of the finished piece, you'll see that it's got beautiful, lovely contrast and it actually turned out really, really well. I spent, I think it was just three hours on this piece. So if you wanted to spend a lot longer on a drawing of a flower like this, you could get it to be really exceptional. But for how this turned out, I'm very, very pleased with the work that I put in for three hours and the result that I achieved with this. And like I said, with smooth paper, you can layer and blend colors together by layering so well. You really just have to go lightly with those layers and really slowly build that up because as soon as you put too much pressure on that paper, it makes it extremely difficult to layer up over that. So you do have to work with your lighter colors, um, preferably your lighter colors first and really start with that lighter pressure and only go in with any firm pressure at the very, very end when you're certain you are done with layering all of your other colors. And that's how I achieved the result on this flower with the lovely smooth blending and the transitions from the light to dark areas and just adding texture onto that, onto those flower petals. So it's a very, very pretty flower. We actually have a wide number of native orchids in a lot of the parks near where I live. This one is very, very common. It's a beautiful purple. So like I said, I just thought it would be a nice subject matter for this video and it was something I could do a little bit quicker than an animal because obviously my main love is drawing animals. And if I'm completely honest, I didn't have a lot of time for this video this week because I've been very focused on one of my pet rabbits has been unwell. So I've been a bit distracted looking after her, making sure she's having a medicine and keeping track of what she's eating. And I just, so I started this video pretty last minute but I'm very pleased with what I managed to draw with the time that I had left really. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I do hope you enjoy the piece. It is, like I said, a really beautiful flower and I'm very pleased with the end result there and simply from using not even that many colors. So, but like I said, it was a great opportunity to use some of my less used colors in my pencil set and I really enjoyed that process. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week for another video. Stay creative.